Hi guys, it's your boy Killers on React, and today we're going to be reacting to a Mr. Beast video, man. As you know, man, Mr. Beast is coming up with these crazy ideas, man. Today it's going to be 10,000 10,000 every day you survive in a grocery store. Yeah, man, I'm going to be making a million on God. Because as long as, oh, okay, maybe there's various conditions, but at least I'm making, I'm making 100 Gs on God, man, for real, man. Because just staying in a grocery store, grocery store, grocery store, oh my gosh. It's not that difficult, honestly. But hey, man, we're going to be reacting to it. If you like the content, like, subscribe, share, and let's make this 120,000. Guys, we lost more time. Let's get straight into it. A spot this entire grocery store, which includes enough food to literally feed an entire city. And then I decided to trap this random guy inside. And every day you live here, I will give you Look at all that crap! in a grocery cart. That's wild, dude. Let's go. Well, I'll give it to you in 24 hours. Oh, okay. This challenge could literally make Alex a multi-millionaire, which in theory means he could be in here for years. And it starts right now. All right, Jimmy's gone. Why would I ever leave? I could be here for years. Exactly. We go grocery shopping, baby. Now, if Alex crosses this red line that we painted around the entire perimeter of the grocery store, the challenge is over and he walks away with his current winnings. And to make sure he stays inside, it's worth noting here that we have countless cameras covering every square inch of the grocery store. Where did you even leave? I guess I'll cook the steak. I think this is just gonna be home base, this little corner of the grocery store. If I have meals like this every night, I'll easily be here for years. Day one complete. See you in the morning. You want it has officially been 24 hours and I got the first 10 grand. Alex! Hey! Can you fill this and confirm the $10,000? Um, it is. I believe you. Now we introduce the twist of the challenge. Basically, to receive the daily $10,000, you need to give me $10,000 in product from the store. What? And so you have to strategize what order to get rid of these items to stay here as long as possible. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. That's actually... There's a lot of electronics over there that are pretty expensive for day one. That's probably a good idea. I can't really eat a TV, so it's no use to me. You're 22 cents over. All right, let me check out. Do you have an MVP card? No. Would you like one? No. Do you want to sign up no. for Here's your cash. Chris, take it away. Beep, beep, beep. I will see you tomorrow with another $10,000 in cash. You should start strategizing what you're going to sell me. This changes everything. I got to start strategizing. Yeah, it's becoming more tricky, man. I have to figure out all the stuff that I need to get rid of. Pet food, pet items. Jimmy could not pay me to eat this stuff. I swear. I got $10,000 worth of dog food right here. I think I'm just going to get some rest, wake up early, because I'm going to have to prep more items tomorrow. I got a lot of work ahead of me. Uh Okay. Alex! What's up, Jimmy? Oh, hey! Is that, Is that what you're selling to me today? Today, it's dog food. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take us forever to move. Wait, can we do like a... I let him clap, transition, go for it. This everything is sick, it's man, I swear. Isn't that a cool effect? I love beast magic. We're at $9,991.80. And for the final item, we are now at $10,000. $45. And something you should know. Every single item Alex sells to me, you're literally going to donate to charity. So don't worry, none of this is going to go to waste. The next few days were kind of a breeze for Alex. On day five, he sold me $10,000 worth of produce. All this produce here, they're going to go bad very fast. On day six, he sold me a bunch of diapers. And on day seven, eight, and nine, he cleared out an additional $30,000 worth of products. He even discovered the back room of the store. And since he hasn't showered in 10 days, he built his very own makeshift shower. And laundry system. Rub a dub dub. Hey, how's it going? What's up, Jimmy? All right, ask him now. Give me an honest answer. How far do you think you're gonna go? Oh, I mean, I feel like a hundred days for sure. Oh boy. Depending on how long Alex lasts, this may just become my most expensive video ever. But I'm prepared for that. Bro, bro, that's crazy. Holy crap, dude! I don't care if you go a year. I got the money. Damn, that's such a flex. That's such a flick! You will get this once I get my $10,000 in items. Alright, today I have more TVs. Who goes to a grocery store to buy a TV? Why are these here? <laughs> now, Alex, be honest with me. Did you empty out any of these TV boxes, fill them with rocks, and keep the TV? Uh. No. Dogs. What? Alright, I trust them, even though that was not what I was asking. <laughs> Approaching day 11, Alex began to get pretty efficient at picking which items to sell. 
$10,001.89. And since I had to leave to go film a video where I stranded myself on an island, this is not comfortable, but let's pray we get like 30 minutes of sleep tonight. We had someone else drop off the money for Alex. We call him the money man. Oh, it's the money man. Thank you, sir. $100,000. I could definitely reach a million. And what he did with the rest of his time to keep himself entertained was interesting. I am building a cheese ball wall. It's done. The great wall of cheese balls. Who's making money doing this shit? Here we go. Three, two, one. This is the life, man. I swear to God. It was Who worth it. To live such a life. So worth it. On day 13, Alex decided to upgrade his shower because it's a piece of crap. What I'm gonna do is use four of these shelves to reinforce the shower. Okay, here we go. You pros actually an engineer like that. Ah. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. I'm gonna use plastic liner. Drape it across here. The walls are waterproof now. All right, you gotta give it to him. This man is literally constructing a functioning shower out of just raw store parts. And there it is. Shower done. Time to test it. Who's actually creative like that? Okay, it's been a few days in here. I'm gonna build a wall. Now, I never thought I'd see this, but Alex literally used all the water bottles in the entire store to build walls for his makeshift shelter. He even created a bed using all of the toilet paper, and it looked kind of comfortable. This is pretty cozy. I fall asleep right here. You, this guy's actually creative like that, man. You gotta get the scan in. Kinda had my eyes on these bad boys for a while. Gift cards. These things are freaking expensive. It is actually surprising how expensive birthday cards are because Alex was able to hit his $10,000 mark only using the cards. And after I got back from filming at the island, All right. hey, it's been a while. Alex went to see if we could help him use the forklift in the back of the store. You know, if you could get it in the store, that'd be super helpful. You're sure you're gonna let Chris drive this? Yeah. Yo! We'll see you tomorrow. This is the life. Even though it's only been a day since he last saw me, it seemed like Alex really started to miss me. At least, that's the only explanation I have for what he's about to do. I saw this cut out of Jimmy over here. We're gonna be hanging out a lot, you and I. Hey, yo, that's watch, stop. make sure I don't lose count. Just scanning away for another 10 k $10,000, 33 cents. Over the next few days, Alex's efficiency was through the roof thanks to his new forklift. So he even had enough time to upgrade his bed. And it was quite the improvement. This is so much better. And even though Alex's original goal was to get a million dollars, I think we're going for a mail on this one. I hope not. He started documenting what he'd spend the money on and came to realize maybe he didn't need to stay as long as he thought. A million dollars is nice in theory. I'm still missing out time with my boys. Both their birthdays are coming up in the next two You'll months. You'll be having more money! Stop. So after Stop. thinking about what I want to put the money toward, I realized that I need to at least make $500,000. But right now, I only have 200. Yo, so total, you're so far away. I got 50 days, I gotta be in here, almost halfway there. On day 22, Alex decided to absolutely decimate all the goldfish in the grocery store. Oh my god! Okay, so this is $10,000 worth of goldfish. I could be an army of toddlers. All right, thank you, sir. You're living a regular life now, almost. You're getting paid 10 grand a day to miss your family. Imagine! Yeah. And you can just do this however long you want. Yeah. And you can just do this however long you want. Loneliness is starting to catch up to him. As you can see, the days started blending together for Alex. But eventually, the day came where he decided to sell the water that he originally used for his shelter. But since he couldn't sell the empty shelves in the store, he realized they make pretty good walls. I'm gonna reinforce the house with metal shelves. Why? Why? This is the way. I thought this is the life of the living guy. 
as you can see, Alex is feeling pretty at home now. But what he doesn't know is when I bought this grocery store, I stopped paying the electricity bill. So at any point now, all the power is going to cut off and his freezers won't work, the lights won't work, and so much more. The challenge is going to get way harder. But to give him some motivation before things get pretty crazy... We thought Alex deserved a reward. Are you excited to see your dad? Yeah. You ready to do this? Yeah. I think he might literally cry. This is going to be crazy. Oh my God. Okay. Hey, Alex, we have a surprise for you. Hello. We brought oh, some special baby. guests. Hi, buddy. Yesterday, you were telling me about how much you miss your family. I felt kind of bad. So to celebrate 30 days, we're going to let you spend the day with them. Yay! That's such a job for <laughs> What's happening with all the boxes on the floor? I made a race car track. Oh, is that the car? <laughs> yeah. Wait, can he ride that? Hey, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, Alex is actually creating like that fun. <laughs> Today I got to see Sarah and the boys. It was freaking amazing. Sarah was as beautiful as ever. I love you. Love you. Wow, that, Hi, buddy, that's a double bone. Heart break. When I saw my kids, I mean, they like look different to me. You know, at that age, they grow weekly. I just look forward to going back home, spending time with my family. You only have 20 more days, man. Come on, What's wait. up? I better get up and start scanning stuff now. We're gonna. What the heck? Yeah, power the lights off. Light off. What are these shenanigans? Where's my flashlight? Is this some kind of joke? Nope. Houston, we have a problem. Did you do this, sir? <laughs> knock, knock. Oh, wow. This is so much creepier. My power's out, Jimmy. Yes. So, when I bought this grocery store, they gave me a form to put, like, the utilities in my name, and I just never filled it out. <laughs> the cameras and cash registers are hooked up to a generator. Because we need those. So what am I looking at over here? Okay, so I had originally sixty thousand dollars ready to go. Oh my gosh! But I assume now that the power went out, you're gonna sell the frozen stuff. Yeah, things have changed. We need to get the scan. Let's get rid of these hot meats. Assembly line. All right, I'll hold the cart. Assembly line. I'm the door holder. And while they're clearing out the freezers, I want to tell you guys about Shopify. Shopify helped me in this grocery store, and in exchange, wanted me to promote one of the millions of businesses they support. Power. If only we had a bag that we could put these things in to keep it cold. And together we pick Kanga coolers. Chandler, what if I told you there's a 12 pack of soda inside of it? Whoa. And it can keep us inside cold up to seven hours. What are you? That's a long time. You got multi wieners, you got single wieners, cheesy, cheesy wieners. Kanga coolers are lightweight and insulated, so you can take them wherever. Hey, me at the front. Chandler, have you ever been in Kanga cooler? Wait, you double scan that. Hold up, you could have the Kanga cooler. You could fit a human head in here. Anyways, click the description down in the shop app right now. You can buy a Kanga cooler. I'm gonna go help them scan some meat. All right, here's our meat receipt. <laughs> that's crazy. Here's your 10 grand. Also, here's a Kanga cooler. Oh, nice. Oh, by the way, Alex, I'm going to Africa for a week. At this point, I once again had to leave to go film a video in Africa where I built a hundred wells. Alex yeah, spent the rest video. of his day rushing to get all the frozen food sold so it could be donated. I'll just be scanning stuff in the dark from now on. I really hope Jimmy turns the power on. It's gonna suck. I'm not gonna lie, being left without power affected Alex way more than I thought it would. I guess the food wasn't the only thing getting checked out. Bro, you tip over a oh. Yo, bro's going crazy, Careful man. Seven. Oh. And that's how mad people are. That's how they just... Ah, ah this bro's doing his exercise, bro. The is turning into a wasteland. So I'm going to the back. I'm going to open up this dock door and let some daylight hit my face. Breathe in some fresh air, because this is not going to do it. Oh, it's so nice. This right here will get me through the dark days. It is day 36. I got $360,000. Why stop now? Gotta keep loading these carts up. Got a lot of food to get through. Just carts and pools of money. And waiting, waiting for the days to go by. 
the most exciting part of my day is being this close to the red line. I'm just a sad old you know what? I know you have a family and all that, but through you making money while doing things and nothing. Who's making things while doing nothing? Living in a grocery store. I don't want to do anything. There's nothing to do. All that stands between me, my wife, my kids is this line right here. Lights being off, being this close to the red line, realizing I can go see my family. It's super tough. There's a cameraman holding the camera. Oh, no, no. There's a bunch of pallets back there still that I haven't even dug into. Some glasses, ice packs. What the? <laughs> Look what I just found. Insta Start Quick Pack Lantern. Nice. I got five of them. I just lit them all up. They're on full blast right now. It definitely lights up the entire space really well. I feel like I can actually like hang out in here again. Ten more. Uh, well, Alex, are you here? Yo. Another 10k? Yeah. Let's go, dude. It's crazy I have all this money, but there's nothing I can do with this money while I'm in here, except just look at it. Well, you can't look at it because it's so dark in here. <laughs> so, I'm going to bring some lights in. Are you serious? For filming purposes. All right. What are you going to do for the rest of the time you're in here? Something I definitely want to do is go ahead and just run through all these shells with the forklift. Oh. <laughs> look at Chandler, man. You asked for this. Inspirational, because money done shit. All right, time for me to not be here anymore. We'll see you tomorrow. Here's your broom. Thanks, guys. Enjoy cleaning. After spending an entire day cleaning up Chris's mess, Alice took advantage of the newly opened space to set up a pool he found in the back. Off we go. Dude, that's why. I'm gonna drag the hose out here, stick it in this pool, and sometime tomorrow, we'll have what a grocery a swimming pool. It's been over a week and Chandler won't tell me what happened while I was gone. This place looks completely different. Oh god, open the doors, I gotta see this. Whoa! Where did everything go? We uh, did a little remodeling while you were gone. This looks like someone gave Chris a forklift. Everything makes sense now. Can you show me the pool? Yeah, you wanna get in? Do you wear socks? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. We're getting into a pool with socks! Nah, Mr. Beast is a psycho, man. Look at this man now! What do you typically do in the pool? I just kind of float around. This was fun and all, but I think we should check out. Thanks for the groceries. Enjoy your pool. All right. I'm just going to grab everything from the back and just put it up here, organize it, and who knows, maybe there's something fun in there. It's no secret at this point, Alex was pretty tired. And while he was making his rounds in the forklift, something unexpected happened. Oh, no! No! Yeah, that's a huge adjustment. Nah, that's a huge that's a huge ass mess. I wouldn't want to clean that up, I swear. That would have been my go point. I would have deep from there. Oh my god. I was trying to turn one way and it just went the opposite direction. Yeah. Oh my god. Who's to the money, man? My freaking money is soaked. There's a bunch of product ruined. It's like so deep right here. Are you gonna hold up? It's in my space. It's all over the grocery store. Dude, I'm done, man. I just wanna leave. We're going in. <laughs> Alex! Buddy! Why is it so wet in here? Yeah, ill. Yo. Oh, Alex. Oh, don't play that! The chariot awaits you. <laughs> oh, look at you in bed. You good, dog? I'm alright, man. You look like a defeated man. Yeah, I busted the pool. How does one bust a pool? So I was driving by to drop off some Alex, and I tried to turn, and it just turned the complete opposite way. I was like, no! So all this got wet? How many more weeks do you have left? Weeks? <laughs> I'm just kind of taking it day by day right now. It depends how much longer I can go. So if you just see like a spider in your bed tomorrow, you're, you're leaving? Oh, 100%. <laughs> I don't think he has many days left. This is ending soon. You guys want to come hang out for a little bit? Heck no. You're depressing. <laughs> this is what the story looked like when Alex started the challenge. And this is what oh, it looks yeah, like now. So, uh, Alex was like, day four, man, four, four, now. four. Like, bro, like, it's like in a jungle, man, not a shit with the human. It's human dark human outside. Vibe. Jimmy hasn't come by today. I have stuff I need to sell. I'm just gonna move this stuff to the back. Hopefully, somebody brings me the $10,000 today. Maybe they just forgot or something. You forget your money, where you really play? In here. I'm just gonna, I guess, sit in my chair till they bring me some money. Is 
That shit doesn't even make sense. Yo, what? Are you serious? That's crazy. Are you there, Jimmy? I'm so obsessed with That's Jimmy, the man. first interaction I get all day, and it's the freaking robot. Thanks for the money. Man, bro actually looks depressed. Don't play, man. I'm actually starting to uh, Even Jimmy wants, wants to come to here for a minute. That's how depressing this place is now. Can't say I blame him, honestly. This sucks, man. You actually feel bad for my homeboy, man. Just deep, man. But you have five more days to go. That's an alarm. Oh, whatever you say. Now, Bruce, bored, God, man. I'm freaking missing my family so bad. It's day 45, and Chandler, how would you say he's doing? That is complete boredom. He's just tapping the bat on the ground. I would feel bad for him, except he's won $450,000. Exactly. He can leave whenever he wants, so he'll be fine. <laughs> Alex! Hey, we were watching on the cameras. He looks very sad. Yeah, I'm pretty bored. Well, here's $10,000, so you're less bored? Helps a little. How many weeks left you got? I well, don't you know if I got an hour left, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, really? Here, let's go look at your sea of money over here. This is all the money you've made so far. 450 grand. Are you saying you're content with it? Give me one second. I've got a surprise that might help you decide. He's going to add more money, man. <laughs> hey, babe. What the heck? Don't cry. I know she's happy as hell, man. She's just looking at that rack of money, man. She knows she's holy. Oh, sure. Jimmy Clear, I didn't take his shoes. I don't know why he's not wearing shoes. These are all the things that this money's gonna go toward. Isn't this crazy? I can't even wrap my head around it. I feel like I could do. Bro, they say I'm fine, but things keep away. You think it's worth it? Nah, bro's better than me on God. What's the verdict? We've weighed the options. Make tons of money. Keep tons of money you already made. Honestly, it's not worth staying in. <laughs> okay. Well, then let's push the money out. There! A dub, man! Alright, Alex, the second you step on the red, it's over. I can move all the money back and we can keep going. It's your decision. Alright, bring, bring it back in. in. Okay? Bring, bring it back in! <laughs> Just kidding. Ah! Yes, sir! Alex spent 45 days in the store and walked away with $450,000. That's a dub, man! I can't believe this happened! This is freaking sick! Congratulations, Alex. Shout out to Albertson for helping us fill the shelves. You guys were amazing. I'm gonna go find his shirt. Also, if you're wondering how we filmed this video because we blew up the earth earlier, it was actually on the moon the entire time. What? Crazy, man. Anyways, guys, the video's over, man. Alex, he actually did well because, you know, mental leadership can actually affect you like that, man. Because, yes, you're getting money, but are you socializing? Are you... Maybe for introverts, this would have been something easy. But, anyways, man, if you like the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and peace. Thank you.